Hi YouTube, today I want to talk to you a very quick little uh, video about this thing. This is the Homedix uh, Jam Bluetooth speaker. A uh, great little device. This one's mine, but my kids liked it so much they made me get them one each. So uh, let me let me just get one. And this is what it comes like. This is a purple one. They come in about four different colours. Purple, blue, silver, green and red I think. Um, I'll show you close-ups as I usually do. Main thing about this is that um, rechargeable batteries built in, it charges from USB, has a 10 meter uh, Bluetooth working distance, that's about 33 feet. You get about a 12 hour battery life if you use it with the auxiliary in, auxiliary in socket. If you use it on Bluetooth you get about a 4 hour battery life, but it's pretty good. The sound is quite good. Um, I'll, I'll try to um, play some for you so that you can get an assessment of the sound. It's, it's difficult when recording like this to give you a proper indication of the sound. Uh, but anyway, let me open this up now and then uh, show you what's inside the box. So here we go, this is the Homedix HGMDX Jam Wireless Speaker with Bluetooth. Uh, and what we get, let's just have a look at the back, so see if I can get that sharp for you. Yeah. Now I'm looking at this uh, on a monitor screen, so if it's not sharp I do apologise. So 10 metre range, it will work with pretty much any Bluetooth device, so that's laptops, iPhones, iPads, Android devices, that kind of a thing. And although you can't, probably can't see it there, uh, we get a 12 hour battery life, up to 12 hour battery life, using the auxiliary in socket, and approximately 4 hours on Bluetooth. So let's have a look, this is actually all sealed so let me take the lid off now you do get the USB cable with this let me just uh, tidy up as I go so my wife doesn't complain Put that there. so the Bluetooth passcode, which is the standard uh, four zeros, is helpfully uh, repeated here on the inside of the lid. But if you forget it, you can look it up online, not a problem really. Then we get some instructions, multi-language as usual, a European guarantee, um, a USB cable. It's fairly small as you can see, but it's okay for charging the device. Uh, and I was actually wrong, you do get the 3.5mm jack cable so that you can use this with uh, an old device that doesn't have Bluetooth. So let me now take this uh, lid out. It's very well packed as you can see. So if you were going on an international journey and taking this with you, it would be very well protected. So here's the actual, uh, this is the purple one as you can see. Let's have a look what we've got. So. Um, so this is the auxiliary in socket, so if you have an older device that doesn't have Bluetooth you can just uh, connect this cable. Then we have the USB charging slot, as you can see. Then we have a battery indicator, uh, I think this lights up when it's charging. Plus and minus for the volume controls, this is a pause and track, a uh, pause and play button. Not all Bluetooth devices will support that, but if they do, you're okay. Uh, and this, I think, actually glows when it's connected. This is the speaker grill. As you can see, it's uh, the speaker's actually, the output is at the top of the unit, so you don't have any particular problem about positioning this. It's, I think, what they call omnidirectional. Uh, so you just put this down somewhere and you get a good sound. What I'm going to do now is connect this via Bluetooth uh, and I'll try to play one of my videos so you can hear the sound. I can't play music for copyright reasons, that would be a problem, um, not something I'm allowed to do, but I can let you listen to this and hopefully give you some indication of the quality of the sound. Um, and I'll put pricing on screen in pounds and in dollars. Uh, pretty cheap at the, the moment, I got this from eBay. Uh, I got two of them actually, one for my daughter and one for my son, and they're very good. I think it was about uh, 20 pounds, which is about 32 dollars which is a pretty good price really. So let's see if we can uh, play the sound for you. I'll have to use mine, which is the blue one, because that's already charged. As you can see, they look, they look great. I mean, uh, different colours is just personal taste. 
um, but they're great little devices. The on off switch is on the bottom, this one's dirty, it's got this kind of uh, rubber type ring on the base which helps it, it's non-slip in effect. Uh, so it does get a little bit dirty, see that's a new one, it's a bit cleaner. So on off switch and your passcode is also helpfully printed here just in case when you pair this with a device, just in case you forget the pairing number it's permanently engraved on the bottom. Okay, let's take a listen to this now. Okay, so what I've had to do, because I've run out of charge on this one, I've been using it, I've had to plug it into the USB cable so that it's charging and it can play in the meantime. Uh, I'm just going to play one of my uh, videos. This is the giveaway result that I did a couple of days ago. Let me just uh, start playing that. There is some clicking on the audio. That's actually from the audio that I recorded. So what you're hearing, the clicking is coming from the audio on YouTube. Put in everybody's name here who commented. Uh, thank you to everybody who did. And then on this uh, random number generator. Now the other thing I'm going to do is just find a, a video with slightly cleaner audio. So let's have a look. Uh, this one may be better. Hello again YouTube, I have another quick review for you and um, this time, I'll show you close-ups as usual this is the Yong Yu... I don't know how to say Yong Nuao Yong Nuo RF603N uh, This is a remote flash trigger Now that one was recorded originally with the Sony camera and uh, the audio from that I think it was the audio from the Sony uh, Again, it's not as clear as it could be um, This one, I think, was uh, recorded with a slightly better audio. Let's have a look. Hello again YouTube. In this short video I've got some sample photos from the Sony HSC DX30V. Now that particular camera has a pretty... What I've done, I've just turned the volume down. It, it's got a tremendous amount of volume on here as you can hear. So what I'm going to do is actually turn it up. I'll play it again um, but I'll, I'll turn up the volume so you can hear how loud it goes reasonable macro facility for close-up photos and that's what I'm showing you here. I should mention that these shots were just grab shots, they're taken in daylight in the garden at my in-laws and I didn't do any special preparation. I set the camera to full auto and then just took the photos. As you can see from these images, the first ones are of the butterfly. They're pretty detailed and at the end I will show you the 100% magnification. Now I've paused that, that's extremely loud and I'm sitting uh, reasonably close to this and even at this level when I'm, I'm so close to it the sound is very crisp and clear it, it almost sounds like listening to a person live in fact so that's the home edX jam wireless speaker Bluetooth speaker uh, but you can also use it with a, a cord which they supply which is pretty good I think and for the price I think that's a great mobile wireless uh, rechargeable battery speaker as far as I'm aware you can't change the battery yourself I don't know how long uh, the, the standard life is, they don't say anywhere, but I guess you'd get a fairly good usage out of it, like most of these things uh, these days. Lithium ion, uh, I think it's lithium ion, is, is pretty uh, long lasting, and the sound is pretty good. It's very difficult to give you a proper estimation of the sound when it's being recorded this way, but as I listen to it, uh, even with music rather than voice, I think it's a pretty good quality sound. So this certainly gets a thumbs up from me. Hope you find that uh, review useful. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything else you want to know about it. Um, it's pretty solid. I wouldn't like to drop it to test how solid it is, but certainly when you put it down, it's not going anywhere. Uh, it looks good, and it will fill a decent size room, normal size room, uh, with sound. So it's great if you want to listen to your music and annoy your neighbours or whatever. And of course, being portable and rechargeable, you can take this out if you go on a picnic or out for the day or whatever. Uh, and it's great for travel because you get this uh, easy, you know, little uh, packing case, which is reasonably solid. Okay, see you again. Bye now.